I bet this happened to all of us. You see your favorite celebrity or your favorite personal file on Instagram, and you just can't help but notice how perfect they look. And it always looks like they're super successful, super rich. Looks like they have a whole team behind them. And that's probably because they do. But that's why I'm here. I'm your team. I'm here to make sure that you look as good as possible all the time. And if you don't have a lot of money, that's not a problem either. Because in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to look super successful without having to spend a lot of money. Number one, invest in your staple pieces. And this could be different for everybody. But think of staple pieces as the clothing that are the foundation of your wardrobe. And for some people, it might be white t-shirts. For other people, it might be white button-up shirts. For other people, it might be full-blown suits. But think of the things that you're going to wear the most. The things that are going to construct so many different outfits. The things that are going to last a whole lot longer when you decide to get the higher quality versions and spend a little bit more money and more time researching the right ones for you. If you have to get your staple pieces, invest more time into getting them. Don't just get 10 white button-ups from H&M and expect them to last. Get them from a place that's known for making dress shirts. If you want to get t-shirts, get t-shirts from a place that's known for making high quality t-shirts, not just any random place. And yes, it's gonna cost you more at the beginning, but it's also gonna last you past that first and second wash and it's gonna make you get a better return on your investment while also looking better. Number two, which is knowing how to take care of your clothes. And this is not as complicated as it seems. The great thing about all the clothes we have is they all have care labels. And I know a lot of people, they like to ignore it. They like to throw everything in the washing machine at once, no matter the fabric, the stitching, well, the woven pattern, or the color. They just throw it all in at once and just hope for the best. It's just that there's so many things that make a garment of clothing and so many different things that can make a shirt different from a sweater or a sweater different from another sweater or jeans from a pair of trousers that you have to make sure that you're caring for it the right way. And if it says dry clean it, just dry clean it. If it says to wash with warm water, just wash it with warm water. Keep it separate from the other things. And to play it extra safe, I never put anything I wear outside in a dryer because a dryer is pretty much the fastest way to make your clothes look worn out in record time. Number three, take care of yourself. And it doesn't matter how good your clothes look, how fitted they look, and how pristine they are. If you look like a hot mess, no matter what clothing you're gonna wear, you're gonna be a hot mess. You're gonna feel like one, and your confidence is gonna go way down. It's gonna affect everything. So I say, make sure you're keeping your facial hair in check. Make sure you're keeping your hairline in check. Anything that you have can be maintained and you just have to make sure you're maintaining them. Even if you have to set reminders every couple of days to maintain your hairline or to shave because I have to do it like every three or four days. Just make sure you do them because it's gonna make a world of difference. And I see this all the time. I can see somebody with the most amazing outfit ever. The outfit looks like a million dollars but they themselves look like $10. Make sure you're using lotion, moisturizers, whatever you need to do to make sure your skin is not ashy and crusty or dirty. Use cleansers, not soaps. Simple things like that. Number four, get accessories. And accessories is the greatest way to make your outfit look a lot more complicated and a lot more expensive than it really is. There are so many celebrities out there that they can just wear a white t-shirt and they look super rich. But chances are they have like a nice little chain or they have jewelry or accessories or a watch that make all the difference. And yes, you will have to spend a little bit of money on this, but these are things that you can wear every day. So even if you have to save up for it, the return on investment is gonna come right back to you before you know it. And it's gonna make a whole lot more sense to buy that nice watch instead of two fancy sweaters. You can spend a little bit more money on a fancier belt or bag, something that you always have with you that'll make your outfit look a little bit more elevated. There's so many times I see people with just a t-shirt, but they have a nice bag and People are just focused on the bag and they don't even care that they're just wearing a regular white t-shirt. Number five, which is getting things secondhand. And I felt like if I said this five years ago, I would've been burned alive. The truth is I've been getting secondhand clothes for years and I'm still alive and well, and I saved a lot of money doing it. But there are certain things that I started looking at online like leather jackets, things that are timeless staple pieces that were going for highly discounted prices just because somebody wore it like two or three times. And the better part is, is that now there's just so many co-signment websites out, it's even easier to get these luxury goods at a discounted price. Some people swear that the clothes you buy secondhand are super used, super dirty, and they're just gonna burn a hole right through your skin. But half the time, 
I swear it has even less wear than the stuff that you get in the stores that have been worn so many times by people in fitting rooms. Number six, getting interchangeable clothing. And this kind of sounds like number one, but this puts more emphasis on the fact that you have to get simpler clothes, more streamlined clothes. And these are essentials. These are things that you want to make sure you can layer easily. Things that don't have too many logos on it. Things that are more streamlined. They don't have unnecessary things like contrasting stitching or random pockets everywhere. And having interchangeable clothing, is going to give you a better return on investment because you can wear them in multiple outfits. Think of getting a nice pair of navy trousers as opposed to the trendy thing, which is get a pair of jeans with a stripe on it. And yes, those jeans do look amazing. You're not gonna get as much wear out of it than the navy pants. And you also get extra style points when you can layer all those items together and make one amazing outfit. And my final tip, get a fragrance. And this one is gonna impact you a lot more than you think. There are so many people who I see, they have amazing outfits, they look incredibly good. But when you get closer to get a better look at that outfit, you notice that they smell like a load of sweat. You don't have to spend a lot of money on a fragrance. There's so many great options out there. Just make sure that when you're looking as good as possible, you're also smelling as good as possible. But those are my tips on how to look great on a budget. If you guys found this video helpful, make sure to give the video a like and make sure to subscribe as well. And also follow me on Instagram because I'm posting a lot of content on there that you won't see on this channel. But I'll see you guys next time.